Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, it's Clay Knight here, uh, I'm back again for another shave. So tonight's shave, I was challenged by I believe uh, my friend over at his channel, Pump GT, Adam Wilson, um, to do a royal, a royal shave. So choose products and or um, hardware that you think would be fitting for royalty and so I went through my den and I picked out some stuff that I think fits that challenge pretty well so without further ado I will go through what what I'm going to be using and then we'll get into the shave so for hardware I chose for my face shave this vintage Wade and Butcher straight razor that I had restored by Gemstar Razors, Glenn Mercurio. Uh, he did the work on this, so he, you know, brought the metal back to life, uh, gave it um, a super, super nice edge, and put these beautiful custom feathered horn scales on. Uh, these are just absolutely stunning scales. They are natural horn, they are beautiful on both sides. And so to me, this seems like something that would be fit for royalty. Obviously, if you're royal, uh, you're probably not shaving yourself, but this is something your, your court barber maybe would use on you. Um, for my head shave, I've chosen my Gem Damascene razor. This is a vintage razor as well. In pretty good shape a little bit of plating loss um, but nothing too terrible a little brassing there uh, but it looks great still and it you know more importantly it shaves great um, to me this this is something that a royal would use it's it's uh, you know just a fabulous razor and uh, very cool um, hardware down well the last piece of hardware would be the brush and I chose my chisel and hound mother load because what's more royal than gold? I don't know if you can see that that well. I hope so. There is this thing is loaded with gold flake, just loaded up. It's gorgeous. It's a beautiful brush. I love this brush. Love chisel and hound. This is a V11 Fanturian. Uh, not in this one. Software. If you follow me on Facebook, you probably know what my favorite Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement scent is. Doppelganger Gold. So, Doppelganger Gold is a an homage, if you will, um, to Creed, the House of Creed, Royal Mayfair. Uh, Royal Mayfair was literally created for royalty. Uh, the, as, as the story goes, first for uh, King Henry VIII or something. I think Henry VIII. Uh, I don't know my royalty over there. And then the Duke of Windsor after that in the 30s. Um, and then it went away for a long time. And then it was revived, I guess, five or six years ago. Uh, they brought it back. And now, from what I understand, it's going back in the vault uh, and not going to be produced um, for who knows how long, so uh, I'm going to try and buy another uh, big flacken of uh, Royal Mayfair if I get a chance. But luckily for me, Douglas Smythe created Doppelganger Gold, and Doppelganger Gold is a sensational scent. Uh, there's too many notes for me to just go over off the top of my head, and I didn't write them down before this video, so uh, maybe I'll put them in the description or link to uh, the website, and you can check them out there. But it is a beautiful, gentlemanly scent that it just screams sophistication. Um, I, I love this scent. Uh, I just love it. It's to me, it's a year-round scent. Um, would be you know extremely well suited to a black tie affair, but also something that I like to wear just around the house because I just enjoy the scent so much. Um, it, it tends to be a little bit polarizing with the, the juniper, the gin, uh, you know, 
notes that are in there. Um, but you know, it's got and it's got rose. Some guys don't like rose scents, uh, so there is a rose note in there. Uh, I think there's orange. There's oh gosh, there's a whole bunch of notes, and I can't remember them all. But this is just a fantastically beautiful scent. Douglas offers um, aftershave samples for 99 cents on the website, so go check it out. Go grab one and check this scent out for yourself. It, in my opinion, it's 95% or more close to the actual original Creed scent. It is super, super, super spot on. Really good. I have the soap. I have the splash. I have the star jelly. I have the solid cologne and I have the EDP so I have just about every product that's made minus the deodorant I oh I also have the bar soap um, so I have most of the products minus the deodorant because for some reason the, the deodorants just don't agree with me so um, I'm not going to do the face shave on camera tonight because last night when I did my straight razor shave on camera it took over 40 minutes, close to 45 minutes, um, and I just don't want to take that long tonight to do a video. It doesn't always take me that long to shave with a straight razor, but when I'm talking and, and filming a video and things, it just takes longer. And I'm tired tonight. I exercised today. I went for a two-mile walk this evening in the heat. It's pretty hot here today, 108 degrees. And, uh, you know, when I went for my walk at 7 o'clock, it was still, you know, 95 degrees outside or something, 98 degrees. It was hot. So I'm trying to exercise more, trying to get more weight off. Um, walking is fabulous exercise. Uh, you burn a lot of calories and, you know, gets me out of the house for a little bit. Just walk around the mobile home park here where my grandmother lives where i'm staying and uh it was nice it was nice to get out looking at maybe getting a small dog to keep here because i miss my dogs at home but none of my dogs are really suited to live here in the park and be around two fragile elderly ladies um so that's something that's going on for me, so tonight I'm just going to do the head shave with the Damascene. This gem blade that's in this razor has been used seven times now. Um, so this will be the eighth shave with this razor. Forgot to fill my, fill my sink up, so forgive me, give me a minute and fill that sink up uh, while we lather up. Um, I am going to apply some ice cube pre-shave. I rotate my cube as I use it because I'm like OCD about keeping it a cube shape as long as possible. The ice cube is great, it's been hot, it's really cooling, it gives you that menthol, and of course it's super slick. And is a lather booster, which, you know, depending on the soap, can be really helpful. This CK6 soap doesn't really need much help in the lather department. It, it you know, very lathering capable. CK6 is probably among, it's among the top bases overall. And it's certainly got to be the top vegan base out there um, I'm sure that's up for debate some people will say you know holy cow makes a vegan base that's great and I know uh, Irina Marchu or uh, Ginger's Garden soaps and lotions she has a vegan base I haven't tried either one of those because to me I'm not super concerned with whether a base is vegan or not um, just so happens that all of Douglas's bases are vegan he's a vegan and uh, 
you know, I guess maybe that matters to him. Don't use animal products. I know all of his brushes are synthetic and that's probably a part of it. Uh, but for me, even though I am sticking to a vegan diet, I am a health vegan and not necessarily a, uh, like a, a moral vegan or ethical vegan, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not opposed to, you know, wearing leather. I have leather jackets and things for riding my motorcycle. I have leather boots, leather belts, uh, <clears throat> badger hair brushes, which I love. And I have a whole bunch of tallow soaps, which, in my opinion, are some of the best soaps out there. Um, but, you know, kudos to Doug. His CK6 formula, and even the CK1 formula, for that matter, um, are just phenomenal, phenomenal soaps. They perform great, and uh, they hang with the best of all of the tallow soaps that are out there. So, we've built up quite a creamy thick lather. Um, if you've tried these soaps, CK6, you know that this is a thirsty soap. So, I don't want to underhydrate this lather because it tends to get cakey and thick if you leave it on too long and it's too dry. So, hopefully that's hydrated enough. We will throw a little water on top, just for good measure, hydrating. Okay, let's get down to it. So I'm just going to start across the back of my neck. Um, I have seen some guys, you know, use a mirror uh, when they're shaving the back of their neck or back of their head, uh, or at least grab a mirror and check it. For me, I don't do that. It's all by feel. So, on its eighth shave, And this razor still feels good to me, still feels smooth, which is amazing to me because after like four shaves on a DE razor, I can feel a noticeable difference, uh, more drag, it's just not as comfortable on my skin, and takes a lot more work to get smooth. So I tend to throw my razors out, my blades out, after four shaves or so. Sometimes three, depending on the, the blade. But eight shaves in, and she's still shaving great. You know, with the with the gems, the the angle of the razor is a lot steeper. Uh, it's a lot more like the angle you would use with a straight razor, and it's a thicker blade, more like a straight razor. So, um, I really like the way it feels, and I like the results I get from the gem. I'm actually looking at getting a Blackland Saber, which is a modern three-piece gem style razor. So instead of having like the flip open top that's spring loaded like all of the vintage gems, they modified the design to a three-piece so the handle unscrews like it would from any three-piece DE razor, except the post on the top cap is cut so that you can fit a gem blade in there and then still screw the handle down so my understanding is that it, it just makes for like a super secure blade they offer two plates two bottom plates for it 
one with like a 0.6 millimeter gap and one with like a 0.9 millimeter gap. Uh, I'm going to get the, the 0.9 because I feel like I've kind of grown to appreciate a slightly more aggressive razor as I've become a little more skilled at shaving. They are not cheap, but as a collector and someone who really enjoys wet shaving, you know, wet shaving to me is like, it's self-care. It's, it's my meditation time. It's, it's my me time for me. It's something I do that is relaxing and, you know, it's, it's, it's a grooming ritual that I think uh, is important, you know, especially in today's craziness that we have going with the pandemic and everything and so much people, people invest so much time in the virtual world. Um, it's important to take a minute and do something for yourself in real time. Remember that, you know, you're a, you're an individual, you're a human, you're a person. Um, for me, it's like, it's a mental health thing. You know, this, this helps keep me feeling good about myself and grounded. And I really enjoy it. So on top of trying to get more exercise, this is another way that I'm taking time for myself. The exercise is important because, you know, science has shown Studies have shown that exercise releases endorphins and those endorphins are good for your mental health. When you release these chemicals in your brain, these neurotransmitters and stuff, um, it helps keep things balanced. You'll sleep better you'll feel better about yourself and it's not just about weight loss i mean i know there's this whole like body positivity movement and uh, all that but in reality i think that's an unhealthy movement um and i'm you know i'm a big guy i'm, I'm pretty chubby I, i've always been you know since at least since my adolescence uh maybe around junior high age I put on weight and never really been you know thin at least not for very long I, I've lost weight a couple times gotten down to a healthier weight and size but I've always gained it all back at some point and uh, you know part of that's an unhealthy relationship with food portion control things like that sweets Um, but I think that, you know, it's, it's normal for someone who's overweight to think about that and go, you know what, like, I don't, I don't feel good about myself. Um, and that should be used as motivation to get healthier, lose some weight. You know, no one's saying you got to go and become a bodybuilder. Uh, like my friend Dominic Donatelli, who is just you know, uh, a super rocked out stud man, shout out Dominic, um, you know, which, you know, which is great. If you're a gym rat, you love working out. I think that's awesome. Um, if you have the time and, and you're able to fit that in your schedule, um, it's good, you know, good to be healthy, but just losing the excess weight and Being a little more active, just taking walks and stuff like that is going to matter, especially when you get older. You know, I'm entering my mid-40s now, and you start to realize, man, I don't want to be 300 pounds. It's, it's hard to do stuff. You get winded easy, and uh, 
that's no fun, you know. Your friends might be going out to do something, go for hikes, uh, go camping and then hiking, you know, and you go out and your friends want to go for a hike and you're heavy, you're out of shape, all you want to do is sit around. So you miss out on stuff, you know. So my goal is to get down to about 200 pounds or maybe even under 200 pounds. I think for my, my size and frame, if I could get down to 180, I'd be pretty lean. Uh, and it depends on, you know, muscle mass and stuff too. So if I'm, if I hit the gym or hit the weights and build some muscle mass, I could easily be 200, 220 and still be healthy. So it just kind of all depends, but that's kind of like my goal. And I'm at about 250 right now and maybe 245 and uh i'm not carrying a lot of muscle mass um you know i haven't been working out consistently uh i've built some muscle more than i had you know a year ago when i was super sedentary and weighed 305 pounds uh I'm six foot, like two and a half with my boots on. I'm six, three, uh, but six foot two, two and a half. And so for my size, for my height, I think my doctor said, you know, 180 pounds would be a good weight to go for. Unless of course, like I said, I'm building muscle mass and getting some gains there that will increase that weight a little bit but really need to bring down my body fat I'd like to get off my blood pressure medications um, and you know live a longer life um, I'm married to a wonderful woman who I'm very lucky to to have we met in high school and this Sunday, I think the Sunday is the 8th, um, we celebrate 24 years of marriage and I'd like to celebrate another, you know, 40 years would be awesome living, you know, live a nice ripe old age together and Simple fact of the matter is, you don't see a whole lot of overweight, you know, 90 year olds um, because they die <laughs> of heart attacks and strokes and diabetes and, you know, you name it, it'll get you if you're, if you're not taking care of your health. And I've been to the cardiologist and I know that my, my heart has my heart walls have thickened a bit due to having years of uncontrolled high blood pressure. And that stems from lots and lots of sweets clogging my arteries and being overweight, causing that heart to have to work harder. So that's my goal. Get down. I know I can do it. I've done it before. Three years ago, I got down to 205. I let stress get to me. I started stress eating and I stopped exercising. And of course, over the course of a year and a half, I gained 100 pounds. So if you're struggling with weight and health, I urge you to you know, get a support system going. Uh, you know, even if it's just an online group, join something, get to somebody that's done it and uh, can help keep you motivated. You don't need expensive workout equipment. You can buy kettlebells, super cheap. They're great for working out at home. You can do push-ups and sit-ups. And you can walk. Uh, 
you know, get a fitness tracker. Help keep yourself accountable. That's what I did. So I've lost 55 pounds or so. 55, maybe almost 60 pounds now. And uh, got to keep that train going. So that, my friends, is a super awesome head shave. Super smooth, super comfortable, no irritation, no blood. That's it. Going to, yeah, that's smooth. Look at that. Wax that up and be shiny. So I'm going to apply some star jelly because that stuff is the best. Star jelly on, let that soak in. After that's done, Soaking in and drying, I'll apply the splash. Then I will, you know, dab a little solid, a couple spritzes of VDP, just because I love to smell good, and uh, that'll be it. So, you know, thanks for joining me and listening to me, you know, ramble on about whatever. And until next time, be well, be blessed, and remember to be kind to one another.